Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for spending some time with me today. Your continued support honestly means the world to me. Today, we are in Paris, California, and we're gonna take a look at this huge home. We're at Homes Direct in Paris, California, and Clayton West is right next door. So we're gonna take a look at this home, but first, I wanted to show you the back of the house so you get a good view of the whole home and where your water access is. There it is, right over there in the middle of the home. But this home comes from the Tempo series and it's known as the Yellow Submarine. This of course is built by Clayton West and this is a four bed, two bath, sitting at 2,128 square feet. You can get a five bedroom version, but the dimensions of this home is a 76 by 28 and the base price of this, believe it or not, is $150,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everybody, let's see what we have here. Walking into the yellow submarine built by Clayton West, what I see is an open floor plan. And in this home, we've got eight foot sidewalls, a flat ceiling, and tape and texture throughout the entire home. This is a nice spacious living room sitting at 17 feet, seven inches by 13 feet, two inches. And what I like are those really big windows letting all of that natural light in. I appreciate that always but hey before we get going do me a favor and hit that like button and while you're at it hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so then that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you can follow along with will across the nation capturing these home tours so hit that and hey you know also while you're at it if you'd like to know more about this home there's a link in the description below that'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a 3d tour take a look at some photos i took take a look at some videos, and most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer that's near you. And now we're walking into what Clayton calls a flex room. But this flex room to me feels a lot more like a dining room. Unless you guys have any other ideas, let me know. But the, uh, the size of this room is eight feet, six inches by 13 feet, two inches. And like I said, this is a nice dining room separated from your kitchen and cooking area. I kind of like that. I like what they're doing with this little separation wall with the, uh, the refrigerator and all the cupboards around. But we're gonna take a look at that in a second. But first, let's spin around, take a look at this island, nice, big. This is a spacious kitchen, in my opinion. Um, looking rather nice. I do like the color of the cabinets. Um, I like it in contrast to the countertop and the stainless steel package. Right here we have the gas option, but you can always change that for the electric option. Taking a look over here, you got some storage underneath your island right here. We're going to take a look. Pretty decent. Somebody left a cup there. But that is a, a good amount of room that you can store pretty much anything in. So that's cool. Um, and like I said, look at that. That I like that. That's some storage right around that fridge. And we have a nice dual sink here with a gooseneck faucet that you can pull out. It's pretty cool. A nice little window up top. And there is your dishwasher to your left of the sink. And like I was saying a second ago, more storage around the refrigerator and again, the separation from the dining room from kitchen. I like that. I like that. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Now these shelves in this area don't seem to be adjustable, but some of the shelves on the other side are, I believe. There's your back door right there. And there we are. See those are adjustable shelves there. Pretty nice. Good construction of the drawers, decently sized. I wouldn't mind them being a little longer. But that's actually pretty nice. And let's go take a glance into the utility room right here. Um, there you could put a freezer or whatever you need. You know, maybe another refrigerator. There's your electrical box. And then there you have plenty of room for your washer and dryer. There's a nice little kitchen, I'd have to say. Nice and spacious. And now we're gonna go back to the guest area and take a look at the other half of the home because there's a lot more to this home, let me tell you. But first, let's see what's behind this door. And that is your HVAC unit built. I'm not sure who builds that, I think it's Carrier. Not sure I could be wrong, but there's your HVAC system. 
And then we're going to come back here and take a look at this flex room. This flex room is pretty much the definition of a flex room. Like what, I mean, if you have kids, you can make this your, you know, play area away from the living quarters. If you have a lot of company coming over, you can set this up as a hangout area. I mean, you name it. What are your ideas for this room? This room size, by the way, everyone is gargantuan. This is 24 feet, 10 inches by 13 feet, two inches. And right here is where you would put your fifth bedroom if you wanted to add that. So that would take a little bit of the space away from this flex room, but that room is nice. That's the definition of a flex room. And now we're in the first guest room here. Um, and the guest room size is 10 feet by 13 feet, two inches, which is, in my opinion, a nice size for, for any bedroom, really. Um, this one's set up with a little table and stuff, kind of just give you a, a look of what you could do in it. And then taking a look at the closet, the closet size, if I calculated it correctly, is four feet by six and a half feet. So that's actually a really big size. And though the one thing about all of the guest rooms in this home, um, they are all the exact same size. So every single one is 10 feet, by 13 feet, two inches. We have a nice little closet in the middle of the bedrooms here um, that they're using it for storage for um, all the materials that'll follow this home when it gets to its final destination. But like I was saying in the second guest room here, carbon copy, 10 feet, 13 feet, two inches. And the closet is four feet by six and a half feet. Pretty nice, I'd have to say. Nice and spacious, looking great. Good carpet. I mean, this house is just big. I mean, like I was saying, it's 2,128 square feet. That's big. And like I was saying outside, it is the base price for this is $150,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a California price. So hit that link in the description below and, and get pricing from a retailer that's near you because it might just be cheaper in like Mississippi. So take a look, take a look. And now we're gonna take a look at the uh, guest bath and uh, the guest bath, another big space. You know, you have plenty of storage underneath, um, storage uh, with the cupboards as well. Nice little mirror, kind of like just a normal mirror there. And then taking a look over there, we have your standard, you know, 30 by 60. Um, wait, no, excuse me, not 30 by 60. This one's a little oversized, not too oversized, but it is a nice one. Unibody, fiberglass all the way around. And then we have a little um, coat, not coat closet, but a linen closet, I guess, or just a general closet in the, uh, the restroom. You can use that for what you'd like. And there is your commode and its little area. Nice little backsplash. And then right behind this door, you have even a little more space. So like, you know, depending on how you want, you could even put a hamper there, I suppose. You know, but now let's go take a look at the third guest room here. Again, same exact size, 10 feet by 13 feet, two inches. This one has a twin bed um, in it, which I like that bed. I like that whole design. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, the, uh, the closet's the same size, so. Hey, you know what, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave them down below. I try to get to them as much as I can. I'm always on the road. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will, and, and if I don't know the answer, I will try to find the answer for you. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them for us. Yeah, and now we're gonna take a look over here. We're gonna walk to the other side of the house and kind of check out the primary. But, you know, I think I pretty much covered a lot of this home so far. But, but like I was saying, if you want to learn more about it, the link's in the description below. Follow along. This is a great time. Oh, and I do see that all of the registers um, are on the floor. So that is one thing to consider when you're looking at this home. Um, your air is on the floor. 
And now coming into the primary room here, the primary size is 13 feet 2 inches by 14 feet. It's bigger than the other rooms, nice and spacious. As we walked in, you saw those uh, nice big windows that let that light in. Um, and the primary um, closet, if I calculated that correctly, we're going to go take a look at it in a second, but it's 4 feet by 8 foot-ish. <laughs> Give or take, I could have been wrong on my calculation. So, because all I could find online uh, with everything with the dimensions was the five bedrooms. So I kind of had to do some mathematical equations, and um, there we go. So, now we're going to go spin around and take a look at the primary bath and see what it's all about. We have the dual vanities, as you can see, the same kind of setup in the um, gas bath two big windows. We have the commode right over there in the corner. Now, the only thing, I'll be honest with everybody, is you know what I'd like to see in here? Maybe a soaker tub, maybe a little more room. Um, with, with, with how big this home is and, and how some of the other areas were pretty darn awesome, um, I wouldn't mind this room to be a little more awesome. But what do you guys think? Let me know. But so far, overall, I'd have to say this house is pretty awesome. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this home and I hope you enjoy the home tours and I hope to see everyone on the next one, wherever that's gonna be, because it's summertime and around summertime, we get traveling everywhere. So follow along, pretty soon we're gonna be in Florida in the Pacific Northwest and all over the United States. So thank you everyone for joining me today. I truly appreciate your support, like I was saying earlier. And in the meantime, until the next one, live smarter, choose manufactured, and travel easy.